-hmm. All right, good. Okay, we're in the nailer aisle at Lowe's. What's my first impression of the tools? My impression of Lowe's is that they have a little bit higher end selection than the other big box stores. That's my impression. That's always been my impression and you can see that it's true. Um, what tool would I select if my tool suddenly quit on me? Um, like I was saying before, if my tool quits on me and it's something I recently bought and I don't feel like I got enough value out of it, like uh, I bought it two months ago and it died on me, I won't go back to the same brand, I'll go to a different brand. And I'll try that brand out and see how long it lasts. Um, a lot of these tools, we beat them up. They're not gonna survive forever, but the ones that do hold a, a special place in your heart. Um, but, uh, next question. Basically, if, if, a, if a tool took a decent beating and we dropped it off a roof or it, and it broke, I might go back and buy another one of the same because I figured, how could you not, any tool would break. But if I feel like something's cheaply made or some small part keeps breaking or I keep having to send it in, it's just taking up my time and taking my money too. So it's gonna be one or the other and I'm just gonna chuck it or it's gonna go on a shelf somewhere and I'm gonna buy a new one and see how well that one does. So I have no allegiance to any brand at any time Whoever's putting out the best product that holds the best value to me and that last, that's who I go with. What would I buy if the sky were the limit and why? Uh, I don't know what the sky the sky the limit. The sky were the limit. That must mean I have unlimited money. I'd probably go all pass load, um, airless. Um, I've liked those since they've come out. They're kind of finicky when you use them, but the convenience outweighs uh, the extra care you have to take with them to keep them running right. Um, but I don't think I'd use them in production work. I'd use them, but not production work. Uh, if it makes sense, I would still use pneumatic tools. But, but it, you know, smaller work, I'd use all airless stuff. I'll pass load airless. I wouldn't use the other airless brands that are out there. What brands would I consider buying? Um, I'd, I'd buy any one of these, really. I'd probably stay away from the stuff that doesn't have the brand recognition. And then I look at also different brands have different uh, models. So I'll, I'll figure out what models are good, what models I might want to stay away from, what models that uh, are maybe older versions or but just continue to be performers. I'll go with them. So, um, I, I would consider any of these Paso, Senko, Bostitch, Max, Hitachi, I consider them all, De you know, DeWalt, I consider them all, and I try them out. Uh, what brands are missing that I would like to see available for purchase, as far as pneumatics, um, and airless, you know, I think everything is here, and I'm used to seeing. So, I'm okay with the selection here. So there's none missing that I'm not used to seeing or using, or that I'm not familiar with. Uh, what improvements would I like to see in power fastening tools? If there's some way, I guess, uh, just to keep the pass loads running, the airless pass loads, to keep them, I don't know if there's a, a, a way to do it, because they're, they're, they're pretty advanced. I mean, it's, it's a nice tool, but um, sometimes it's hard to keep them running and keep them firing consistent nails. That's all I wanted to do. And uh, the pneumatic tools oh, pretty much always do that. If they don't, you can take them in and get them rebuilt. Every time you have to deal with a pass load airless, you have to take it in. It's a hundred bucks, hundred dollar service. So you might have to do that every year, depending on how much you use it. If you use it all the time, you might have to do it every six months. So it's gonna cost you $100 every six months if you're a heavy user, plus 350 for a gun. And you know, the price adds up for those. Whereas if you use a pneumatic nail, kind of the price goes down as you use it. It pays for itself as you go. 
I guess pass the old mic too, but it just costs a little bit more for the convenience, but still a cool gun. So that's probably what I do for those.